Hello, this is Omobola Jeffries and I'm coming your way again on the series of birthing greatness. During the last session, I was talking to you about the invisible session, the invisible season in your life when nobody seems to see you. And towards the end of the video, I was talking to you about how crucial that time is. I found out in the journey of pregnancy that shortly after that period when I became aware that I was carrying a pregnancy, there were lots of changes happening within my body that I didn't understand. The word of God makes us to understand it, that out of the comfort, we, we have been comforted, we can comfort many. During the time of pregnancy, during the time of conception, during the time of growing within your womb, you will find out that there are lots of unpleasant experiences that you have. Some of us will find out that you're being sick. You will find out that you don't have any appetite. All these things are needed because of the hormones that are changing within your body. When you're going to a great place in life, when you're going to birth greatness, there are unpleasant experiences that will come. You cannot, because of these unple unpleasant experiences, abandon the journey of pregnancy. My dear sisters, it is easy to look at people who are successful. It is easy to look at people who have made it through and start to look at them and wish you were there and forget that the fact that they had to go through a process to get to where they were. Now, some of the people we're talking about, some pregnancies are different from others. Some are pregnant and they're absolutely fine. They're not sick. They're not fat. They're not this. They just go through like that. That is their pregnancy. It is unique to them. Remember the first video where I was talking about uniqueness. Your pregnancy, you may be sick within your pregnancy. You may vomit a lot of times. You may feel weak and tired. That is your pregnancy. It doesn't make you any less of a mother. It doesn't make you any less successful as a a woman who is carrying destiny. I just want to chat somebody's heart today. The Bible says that the horse is made ready for battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. God is the one who decides the outcome. He's the one who decides the outcome of what you're carrying. And he knows what your body needs to go through to get to where you're going. In the process, when nobody has acknowledged you and there's something growing on in the inside of you, you are left to do the daydreaming. You are left to be the one envisioning how it's going to be. I was sharing with some ladies a few days ago. After the Lord spoke to me about thy precious jewels, I had to get myself ready. At that time, nobody knew anything about a mobile like Jeffries. I had not even spoken to a single woman about changing or transforming their lives. Yet I will stand in front of the mirror and I'll wear a smile and I'll say, hello, hello, sister, good morning. Hello, lovely to meet you. These were daydreaming days. But these daydreaming days are very important because it is during that time you begin to see yourself in the position where God has put you. It is during these daydreaming days and the days of pregnancy that you start to see that baby. You start to imagine what they will feel like when you handle them. You start to imagine what their faces will look like. You start to imagine what their voices will, look, will sound like when you finally hear them cry. These stages are very important. The reason they're important is because they keep your hope alive. You need to see it for you to be able to go through the difficulties that you will go through for the rest of the pregnancy. Anybody who has ever been pregnant before, you know that pregnancy is not the most convenient time. At times you have to carry your womb and you move it to the right whilst you move to the left for you to be comfortable. But you know what? As the days grow near, as the days come closer, you start to get excited as your vision becomes clearer as to the child that you're going to meet. It is during this time you need to find out. You need to start to discover the one who is to come. You need to find out how to take care of them. You need to find out how to nurture the ministry that God has committed to you. You need to find out what you need to do, what you need to learn to get to the greatness that you're going. We're talking about birthing greatness. Even though your pregnancy is not visible to all, even though the baby, the form of the baby is not seen by all. In the process of birthing greatness, during this process, when the baby is hidden in your womb, is the time to discover what will this be like and get yourself ready. Get yourself prepared. You need to go for scans. You need to check your heart. You need to make sure that everything is fine. You need to feed yourself and nurture yourself so that the baby that you're carrying is healthy. A lot of people are carrying unhealthy visions and that's the reason why it is terminated. I'm going to charge you today, my dear sisters, for you to birth greatness. You need to take care of that pregnancy. You need to get yourself ready for the one that is to come. Not being prepared is a, one of the commonest reasons why pregnancies fail because we're not, our bodies are not prepared for that which is to come. Same goes a vision and a ministry. I hope this has blessed you. Have a good day.